Most people think you can't create consistent characters in Google Veal, but after spending hours testing and designing prompts, I found a simple structure that actually works. So in this video, you'll learn exactly how to write prompts that keep your characters consistent across multiple scenes in less than five minutes. And once you learn that, you can use it to create any character you want, and it will always stay the same no matter the scene it is in. Let's get into it. Now, before you begin, I actually wanna note that Google VO doesn't have a consistent character feature. And that's one of the biggest problems I faced when using Google Video for video creation. You're not able to create any characters that stay consistent across multiple scenes. But there is a workaround for that, and it all comes down to structuring a core prompt. What a core prompt basically is, is a prompt that you always paste before your scene description. It holds the DNA of your character, and it includes how they look, how their voice sounds, what their face looks like, and more. So when you use that same core prompt across multiple scenes, you're actually able to create consistent characters from one scene to the next. Now, before we dive into the prompt structure, I need to address something that trips up most creators. At first, image to video might sound like the better option. You upload a photo of your character and the AI animates it, right? But in reality, text to video is way more powerful and gives you better results almost every time. Here's why. When you use text to video, the AI has full creative control. It generates everything, the lighting, the motion, the camera angles, and most importantly, it gives you the option to create a full voiceover for your character. This is how you get shots that actually look cinematic. Compare that to image to video. It works well for scenes with minimal movement, but when it comes to generating dynamic high motion scenes, you should always go with text to video because it consistently delivers far better results. I tested this extensively. When I tried to generate Spider-Man using only text prompts, it was almost perfect, but the appearance wasn't 100% the same. So I switched to image to video with reference images. The visual got better, but I lost all the dynamic motion and voice capabilities that make content actually engaging. That's why whenever possible, you should stick with text to video. It consistently delivers far better results than image to video, and that's exactly what our core prompt method is designed for. Now, the thing most people get wrong is they think creating this kind of prompt is really hard, but in the next step, I'll show you how to do it in almost zero time using nothing but a prompt box and chat GPT. The way to structure the prompt is actually not that hard, but to get the best possible result, we first need to decide on the final outcome. In this case, it's going to be a four scene video featuring a consistent character and the character I've chosen is Batman. Now, you can do this with any character you want, but if you're struggling to come up with a character or a scene structure, you can just ask ChatGPT. Give me a structured video idea using a consistent character for Google Video. It will give you a pretty decent starting point. Once we have the basic structure, the next step is extracting the core DNA of the character. For Batman, I'm using this specific version and to describe him accurately, I use a structured prompt in ChatGPT. I've created a reusable prompt that you can always come back to. I've also left it in the description below. Hi ChatGPT, I'm working on a video using Google Vio and I want to create a consistent character based on the image I've attached. I need you to write a very detailed core prompt for me that describes only the appearance, the voice and the camera settings. This will be reused across multiple different scene prompts. So don't include any pose or action. Just describe how the character looks in the image, how their voice sounds, and what camera settings would keep the visuals consistent every time. Structure it like this. Character appearance, describe the face, outfit, proportions, colors, and overall style in as much detail as possible. Voice, describe the tone, pitch, emotion, delivery, and atmosphere of the voice as if it were being recorded. Camera settings, briefly describe the lens, aperture, lighting, color grading, and framing style for consistent cinematic output. Only focus on the character, not what they're doing. Be as specific as possible. Here's the image to base it on. Just paste it into ChatGPT along with your image, and it will give you a detailed character description. When you're done, you'll get a very in-depth prompt that outlines all the core features of your character, how they look, sound, act, and more. So at this point, we have a detailed DNA of our character and a basic idea of what we want our four scenes to look like. The next step is creating the actual structure of the prompt we'll use to generate those videos. The way this prompt is set up is pretty straightforward. It includes a section to insert your character DNA, a space for your scene description where you describe what you want to happen in that specific scene, and an optional voice line. The voice line isn't necessary, but it's a nice touch if you want to add more depth. To build this, I prepared a prompt you can use. Again, you can pause to read it. Once you have the prompt structure ready, you can either fill it out yourself by describing the scene you have in mind, or if you use the ChatGPT prompt to generate your scenes earlier, 
you'll already have everything you need. For the voice line, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just write out what you want the character to say and when. And that's it, you now have a complete script. The next step is to put it to the test in Google Video and see if your character actually stays consistent across scenes. Okay, now we're actually gonna start creating our videos using Google Vo. The way I'm accessing Google Vo is through a tool called OpenArt. If you wanna follow along with this tutorial, just click the link in the description. Once you're on OpenArt, look to the left-hand side where you'll see a bunch of options. What you want to click on is videos. When you do, you'll be taken to the workspace for video creation. Now, the first important thing to do is choose text to video from the options on the left. Click that, then select your model from the drop down menu. There are a few options, but the one we want is VO3. Select that. Then you can choose your settings. For video mode, OpenArt has added VO's fast model. This one uses fewer credits, but the quality is slightly lower. I'm going to go with the standard version for higher quality but you can use the fast one if you prefer. Once you've done that, your workspace is ready. So in OpenArt, the prompt box doesn't get cleared after you create something, which means you can just paste in your character's DNA once and always have it ready. Then for each new scene, all you need to do is add the scene description. For my first scene, I'm starting with Batman's morning routine. I'll just paste in my already prepared prompt and click create. Now the video is being generated, but before we take a look at the result, we actually need something to compare it to. So for the second scene, I'm going with Batman at the shopping mall. To do that, I just copy my second prompt, paste it into the same prompt box and click create again using the exact same settings already saved in open art. Time to see how the results turned out, starting with the first video. I have to get moving. The quality is pretty good. Batman's making a sandwich and overall it looks solid. He is not in his bat cave, but the environment looks realistic and the character is clearly recognizable. So that's a win. Now let's check out the second one. The shadows are growing long. And right away, we can see this is clearly the same character. This is definitely Batman, and he's right there in the shopping mall. The voice line and lip sync is a bit off, but in terms of character consistency, this was surprisingly good, especially considering Google Vo doesn't have any built-in character memory. So overall, I'd say this is a solid result. Okay, so now that we're done with scenes one and two, I'm gonna go ahead and create scenes three and four as well. For scene three, I'm going with Batman working out in the gym. So I go back to my Google Doc where I have all my scene prompts ready and I copy the third scene description. Back in open art, I can see my character's DNA is still sitting there in the prompt box from the previous generation. This is the beauty of this workflow. I don't have to retype anything about Batman's appearance, voice or camera settings. I simply scroll down to the scene description section and replace the shopping mall description with the gym scene. Same settings, VO3 standard quality, same video mode, click create. Now, let me set up scene four. Again, I go back to my Google Doc and copy the fourth scene prompt. Back in open art, the character DNA is still there waiting for me. Again, I'm replacing the scene prompt with the fourth one. In less than two minutes, I've set up two more scenes. No retyping character descriptions, no adjusting settings, no starting from scratch. The character DNA stays consistent. I just swap out the action and dialogue. Just copy the next prompt, paste it in and click create. That's one of the great things about using Google Vo through open art. It actually makes this kind of workflow really easy. You can build out multiple cinematic shots while keeping your character consistent the entire way through. Now that I have all the scenes ready, we can finally start putting everything together into one cohesive video. Just to recap, in scene one, we've got Batman's morning routine in the Batcave. Then in scene two, Batman is shopping for groceries in a market. Next, we have Batman working out in the gym. And finally, we have Batman on a rooftop eating a sandwich. Putting it all together is really simple. You can use CapCut or any other video editing tool. First, I open CapCut and create a new project. Then I import all four of my Batman scenes, the morning routine, shopping mall, gym workout, and rooftop sandwich scene. I drag them onto the timeline in chronological order. Now, here's where you can get creative with the editing. I add simple crossfade transitions between each scene to make the flow smoother, nothing special. For the audio, since each scene has its own generated voice line, I make sure the audio levels are consistent across all clips and we're done. This only took five minutes as it's basically just importing files and adding transitions. Let's take a look at the final result we've created. I have to get moving. The shadows are growing long.
Watching the full video, it's actually really cool to see that his armor stays exactly the same throughout every scene. Even the Batman logo, which usually ends up looking different or distorted, but here it stays completely consistent. That's impressive, especially considering Google Veo doesn't have any built-in memory or character consistency features. Now there are still some weird moments. In the gym scene, where he's doing an exercise with the barbell, you can hear some chains when they're nowhere to be found, which is a bit odd. But honestly, these are small issues. They're not really prompt related. They're more about how the video generation model actually works. That aside, this turned out to be a solid method for getting consistent characters across multiple scenes. Overall, very good result. So now you actually know how to create consistent characters in Google Vio, and with OpenArt, it's surprisingly easy to pull off. If you want to start making character-driven videos that look like something straight out of a Netflix series, click the link in the description to sign up for OpenArt and start creating today.